Nice to meet you where you've been I could show you incredible things Magic, madness, heaven, sin I saw you there and I thought Cause we're young and we're reckless We'll take this way too far It'll leave you breathless Or oh, with a nasty scar But I got a blank space, baby And I'll write your name Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Nina. If you're new here, welcome and if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Today we are learning one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs to play on guitar and I probably say this way too often but I'm serious. This song is so fun to play. We are learning the live acoustic Grammy Museum performance of Blank Space today. And when this performance first got posted I probably listened to it like 500 times to learn how she played it because it just sounds so good. If you'd like to see the tab that I wrote for this song that Link is in the description box of all the chords and everything and if you want to see the play along video where I sing the song full speed so that you can practice and play along with me that link is also in the description box that's gonna be on my other channel and also side note I just launched a vlog channel so if you want to go check that out that is also in the description box below all right let's get into this video your capo is going to be pretty high up on the sixth fret here. This is how she plays it in the video. The chords you're gonna need are classic Taylor Swift chords. We've got G, E minor seven, C at nine, D, and then we have a few other chords. We've got A minor, we have regular C, and then we have a chord called G over F sharp, which I like to call a transition chord, which is gonna be optional for you to add into this song. For the intro, it's going to be, basically you're just gonna stay on G, for like two measures but Taylor Swift does a lot of little fun things she does hammer-ons and pull-offs with this song a lot so I'm gonna show you the basic way and then the way Taylor plays it your basic strumming pattern is going to be down up up down up up down up down up and that's gonna be your basic strumming pattern to follow throughout the whole song. Taylor Swift is so good at rhythm strumming, so she will add her own flair here and there, but that is the bare bones of it. So in the intro, she plays G, but she uses her first finger to hammer on and off of the G string, which is the third string right here. So this chord technically is called G sus2. She will switch back and forth between G and hammering on to G sus2 in this intro. The basic way you can play this intro is just staying on G. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then again. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Now if you want to play closer to the way Taylor Swift plays it, she throws in some hammer-ons and pull-offs, and she uses a technique called palm muting, which I talk a lot about on this channel, but where you rest the edge of your hand on the very end of the guitar to get a sort of muted sound. It's not completely muted, but you can still hear the chord. It's just a little bit quieter and just different like texture. I don't know how to explain that. When she does this palm muting, it's always going to be on the down strum, so... And when you go down is when you rest your edge of your hand on there. But when you go up, you kind of like, it's like free, it's open. We'll just do the strumming pattern with the palm muting really quick. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And now I'll show you where she does the hammer-ons and pull-offs. So she's hammering on this second finger onto the sixth string. So on the first down strum. So strum down and then hammer on. I'll do that slowly. Down, hammer on. Up, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down, up. And on the second measure of this chord, when you start over the strumming pattern, you are going to hammer on your first finger onto that third string. The first one's gonna be like this. So down, hammer on, second finger. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And then the next time you start it over, you're going to hammer on your first finger onto the third string. So that's how it's gonna sound. Down, hammer on, up, up, down, Pull off, up, up, down, up, down, up. 
So you're doing the same strumming, you just have to know when to hammer on and pull off. So down, hammer on, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, hammer on, up, up, down, pull off, up, up, down, up, down, up. If you're a beginner, do not worry about this. You can work up to it. So you just kind of go through that really slowly and eventually you will get it. Just keep practicing it. If not, just do the basic way. I'll do it full speed just so that you can see it, but it's gonna go like this. So for the verse, the chords are going to be G, E minor seven, C a nine, so you're going to repeat that chord progression twice and each chord is going to get two measures. So two strumming patterns per chord. So we first have G, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, again. And then we got E minor 7. And then we have C at 9. And then D. And then you repeat that whole thing again, and then it goes into the chorus. Let me just sing a little bit of that so you can see. Try to play along with me if you want to. Nice to meet you, where you been? I could show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. Saw you there. Then we go into the chorus, which is going to be very similar to the verse, except for you've got some different chords in here. I'm going to tell you the basic way, and then I'm going to show you the little intermediate thing she adds in here. So we've got G, E minor, and then instead of C at 9, you're going to go to A minor, regular C, and then D. And you're going to repeat that twice, except you're going to end on the C and not the D. And the strumming is going to be the same. So this is going to be your basic chorus here. So... So it's gonna be forever Or it's gonna go down in flames Good time I when it's over The high was worth the pain Got a long list of ex-lovers They'll tell you I'm insane And you go to the C And then D Cause you love the game Here's something Taylor Swift adds that is my favorite favorite part of playing this entire song. She adds a transition chord between G and E minor 7 and it's called G over F sharp. So when she's strumming, I'll just play it really quick to demo, but it's gonna go. So it's gonna be forever or it's gonna go down in flames it's over. She adds a little something. So you're gonna go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So you do that first measure and then you go to the second measure. Down, up, up, down, up, up. And on the last part of the strumming, down, up, down, up, you're gonna go to the G over F sharp. Down, up, down, up. And then you start on the E minor. So you do your first strumming pattern. We're on the second strumming pattern of the G. So down, up, up, down, up, up, switch. Down, up, down, up. E minor. So basically, G over F sharp is just kind of like helping the G transition to the E minor. It's kind of like a walk down, I think. I don't know the technical term for it, but I'm gonna do that slow one more time. So try to do it with me from the top. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. I don't know if you got it, but I hope you did. You're doing great. And on the second half of the chorus, when you're ending, it's gonna go. But I've got a blank space, baby. And I'll write your name. So you're gonna stay on the C. You're not gonna end on D like you did with the first part of the chorus. So I like to kind of cut it. So it's like, and you can do the little pen noise. And I'll write your name because that's what she does in the performance. And you're gonna go back into what we did for the intro. You can just stay on G for one measure or you can do one measure of that intro. And 
you only do it once and then it goes into the second verse. Or you could just stay on G. I'll write your name. Up, up, down, up, down, up. So second verse is obviously gonna be like the first verse, second chorus, and then we go into the bridge. I remember watching the performance and her singing the bridge and kind of thinking the chords don't match what she's singing. And I could never figure out this bridge for the life of me, but she stays on G for the entire bridge when she's performing at the Grammy Museum. She just kind of plays quietly and does some picking. If you want to do some picking, if you can, do that. Or you could just do some quiet strumming and build up until the end. So it's like... Boys only want love if it's torture. I can't sing low, so forgive me. So you can stay on the G for the whole thing. Or sometimes what I like to do to switch it up to make it sound a little bit closer is to just go through the like verse chords per se. Um, so I go... Boys only want love if it's torture Don't say I didn't, say I didn't want it Boys only want love if it's torture Don't say I didn't, say I didn't want yeah. So, you can either do it the way Taylor does it, where she plays G for the whole time, starts slow and quiet and builds up really loud. Or you can do the verse chords like I do. Whatever you wanna do. Make it your own. So the that's the bridge, and then it just goes into the chorus again. The only thing about the end chorus, the very last line, it's like, They'll tell you I'm insane, but I got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. And then she just single strums G at the very end. That's it for you guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. Feel free to hop over to the Play Along channel to play along with me. Don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, let's get a thumbnail really quickly. Really quick. She likes to hammer on her second finger. <laughs> Can't do I'm just, I promise I'm not trying to flip you off. Okay.